Right, come on, run, quick. Come on, quick. Come on, quick. Run out there. Get there, Kendall. Come on, DC, go. Come on, Kendall, catch it. Catch the guy in front of you. Come on, come on, good. Come on, D. Come on, D. Come on. Come on, run, Connor. We make him run, Connor. Good. Come on, Cam. Come on, Cam. Come on. Come on, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Not a warm up. Texas heads into the season ranked 10th in the AP poll. Some of that hype, the result of landing the nation's second ranked recruit in Miles Turner, who joins a team returning five starters. Wednesday came more hype as two ESPN Top 100 recruits signed their national letters of intent to play at Texas next season. Here to give us some insight into their game is Texas Associate Head Coach Rob Lanier. How are you? Doing great. You know, we were talking about it before we got started here. Just the fact that I know you're ready for this season to get underway. Yeah, it's, it's an exciting time, and it's been a, a long uh, period of preparation because now we can start working with these guys in the summer. So I think they're tired of playing against one another every day, uh, but I think they're prepared. I think Coach has done a good job getting these guys ready, um, and we're excited about Friday. Well, I know you guys have got to be excited about the class that's coming in in 2015. Let's get started by talking about Eric Davis. What makes Eric Davis so special? Well, I, I would say, first of all, that uh, – when you don't have a lot of scholarships, you really have an opportunity to be very selective. Uh, so the great thing about today is that we got the guys we really wanted. Uh, and in Eric, uh, we got a, a guy who can really score the basketball, uh, but he's got a high skill level that allows him to be a combo guard. He can play some point. Uh, he can score at the basket. He's got a mid-range game, and he can really shoot the ball deep out the three. And he's a fearless, uh, tough, competitive kid who who's got a great work ethic. So that, that really fits for us. Now let's talk about Kerwin Roach, the other guy that you brought in. What made him stand out to you when you guys were on the recruiting trail? You know what? Uh, we, we wanted uh, someone who could play the point. Uh, and Kerwin, he has the mindset of a point guard, but he's got the athleticism uh, and the ability to shoot the ball that, uh, that you would find in most wings. Uh, so between the two of them, there's a great compliment. Uh, uh, they both give us some primary ball handling. They both give us some scoring. And they're both hardworking, competitive guys who uh, are high-character guys. So we're excited about both of them. All right, that's looking ahead. Let's talk about the, not, the now. You know, we want to talk about this year's class in Miles Turner. Obviously, this guy really stood out as a guy that you were able to bring to the 40 Acres. Where have you seen his game develop since being able to work with him this summer? You know, I think just, uh, uh, number one, he's a, he's a great kid uh, and a great teammate. I think any time you get a young man who's got all this attention, uh, it, it can be tough for them to integrate themselves into the team. But uh, we've got a group of guys that makes it, make, makes it easy for a young man like him. But his character allows for it to be a natural transition into the team as well. Hard worker, uh, team first guy, really talented, but like a lot of freshmen, has a lot to learn. And he's in a growing process, but uh, he, he's really going to be a big contributor to, to whatever we're able to do this year. When you talk about growth, where would you like to see Miles improve his game going forward? Well, Miles is a young man who's so conscientious that uh, he can overthink things sometimes because he wants to do the right thing all the time. Uh, but sometimes that overthinking can stifle his instinctiveness. Uh, so it's just an area, I think, where the more familiar he gets with all the concepts and everything we're doing, that he can just react instinctively, then uh, his brilliance will come out as a player. So he has some real moments of brilliance, and then he has a lot of uh, very typical freshman moments as well. But the makeup of our team allows him to grow at the pace that is comfortable for him. And how about that Miles Turner bucket hat? You expecting a lot of those in the crowd when you guys get underway? I, I sure hope so. It's so cool. I've been looking for one myself. <laughs> Hook the coach up with one. All right. You know, I want to also talk about, you know, just this team and the expectations moving forward. What are the expectations in your mind as a coach on this staff? You know, we don't really talk about uh, the end result. You know, uh, the real expectations uh, that coach lays out for us is just for us to improve each day and ultimately become the best that this particular team can be. And so that's our challenge every day is just to try to improve and reach whatever potential that we have. And we do believe, because we've tasted it a little bit now with this group, that, uh, that we, we can accomplish something significant with this group uh, whatever that may be, and we really haven't put a label on that. It's really a journey uh, that, that we try to embrace on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, we think our guys are bought into that, uh, the newcomers, the veterans, and uh, it's going to be an exciting journey. A guy that will be a veteran this year is Isaiah Taylor. How about him landing the cover of the regional Sports Illustrated? 
Why do you think people are beginning to take notice of him now? Well, uh, I, I think uh, he, he's, he's a dynamic player, number one. Uh, he's learning how to lead, but he's still a leader in that our guys follow him due to the fact that he's a fearless competitor. Uh, so uh, he, he is a dynamic player, and I think he plays a position on the floor that uh, if you can be dynamic, uh, people are drawn to that. And I think he's got a charismatic personality. And um, I, I just think he's a guy that, uh, you know, when Coach has had really good teams, uh, his best teams have had a great point guard. And uh, Isaiah has the potential to be a, a terrific, terrific point guard. And he's still learning. But uh, while he's learning, uh, he's, he's pretty good. What would you like the identity of this team to be at the end of the season? Well, I, I would like it to be the identity that all of Rick Barnes' teams have had, is that we're a tough, defensive-minded team, a dominant rebounding team, uh, and a team that executes and is very efficient on the offensive end. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a deep team. We've got a lot of people that can make major contributions. I think we've got a selfless group for the most part. Um, so I, I think toughness, if we were trying to put it in a word, that, that's the way we would want our teams to be described. Associate Head Coach Rob Lanier, we appreciate you so much for stopping by, and best of luck as the season gets underway. Thank you. Miles Turner is the second highest rated recruit Texas has landed since 2007. There's another guy on this year's squad on that list as Cam Ridley was the number eight overall recruit in 2012. We expect to see both Turner and Ridley in action when Texas hosts North Dakota State Friday at 730 here on LHN.